Hi, I'm Elizabeth. I'm a first year in Saybrook College and I'm a prospective CS major thanks to CS50. Hi, I'm Olivia. I'm also a first year in Saybrook College and I'm a prospective CS and psychology major thanks to CS50. Awesome. Well, this looks like a pretty cool website. Can you tell me a little bit more about it? Yeah, so we made a ticket website called tick.it um, and we can go through and show you all the features. So the first thing, when you load the website, you will get this cool login screen. You can log in if you're an existing member or register. Okay. So would you like to register? Yeah, why not? Go Let's go and do it. that. All you right. Can override that. Sure thing. Let's go and use password one, two, three. You know, it's the best password <laughs> out there, right? Oh. Totally, we know from the cybersecurity workshop. Awesome. Well, that's a pretty cool animation. Yeah, so yeah. we used CSS to make the animation. Mm -hmm. And then you can explore all sorts of pages, and I'll hand it over to Olivia to tell you a little bit more. Yeah, sure thing. Okay. So the first page you can explore is the Create Event page. Um, on the Create Event page, you'll find a form that allows you to create an event with a specific name, a date for the event, a category, a location, a capacity, and a description. Do you want to demonstrate, Elizabeth? Yeah. And if you fail to type in any of the, the required um, requirements, it'll bring you to this lovely error page ah, okay, that gotcha. tells you that you need to redo the form. This is pretty cool, and it's very helpful, too, because it tells me exactly what I need to do, exactly. right? Yeah, nice, so, nice. so it will change depending on whatever error you make. If you don't fill out one field but not another, and the error message will change as well. Gotcha. I love the flash of white and dark. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. definitely. Really, like, bright. Yep. So, yeah. And then, so we can make an event. We can make the... Maybe we'll do a CS50 fair. Oh yeah, that sounds really familiar, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if I can type. Ah. It will be today, the 12th. Let's say it's, let's say it's a sport event, I don't know. Yeah, you know, we'll call it a sports event, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah it's yeah, a, it's a yeah. marathon working on these projects. That's so true, that's it is, yeah, yeah, definitely. It'll be in the Yale Science Building. I don't know, there's like probably a couple hundred of us here. And I'll just say like CS50 final project. And then do you want to show how to get there? Sure, so once you create an event, you can go to the Find Events dropdown where we've sorted the events by category. Okay. Uh, if you go to the All category, you'll find these lovely cards that advertise the sporting events, concerts, and theater productions. So if we click on Sporting Events, we'll see all of our pre-existing events as well as our CS50 project fair. Right, the one we just added. Yeah. Exactly. That's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> so if you're like us and you're crazy about CS50, you would love to buy tickets for this event. So you can go to the Buy Tickets page where you can select our event name, CS50 Project Fair, and the number of desired tickets. Yes, and then you can buy them. It will bring you to the My Events page where you can see all of your events you purchased. So you see the CS50 Fair right here with our three tickets. And then finally, you can look at photos from previous events. So we added some of our favorite memories from the semester. Oh, yeah, that's but really we'll, cute photo yeah. over time, <laughs> yeah. And there's the two of us at the bottom together. Awesome. Yeah. Well, this is a really great website. I mean, I'm really curious behind what was the inspiration for this, right? Because it seems really useful for, you know, for our campus. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. So before the Harvard-Yale game, a bunch of the first years were rushing to the website to try to get tickets, and there was a mishap where a bunch of Yaleys couldn't get tickets to the Harvard-Yale game. So we thought that we should make a better version of the ticket website. So that was the inspiration for Tick.it. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's yeah. a really cool backstory for sure, yeah. Yes. And I definitely felt that struggle trying to get tickets for the game, yeah. Definitely, yeah. yeah. Drive from personal experience. Yep. Well, awesome. Well, I mean, this seems like a pretty complex project, right? You're managing different events, ticket sales, and photos. So tell me what was one bug or issue that you encountered that you had to overcome during the course of your project? Oh, there were so many. Oh, it's hard to pick one. <laughs> yeah, um, sure thing. I think... <laughs> Mostly making sure that all of our, we used Python mostly for our code, and then we're storing all of the events in SQL tables, um, and making sure that we're matching up our SQL tables with the Python, and then adding that to the HTML was something that took a while. We kind of had to, we like, for buying tickets especially, we kind of had one function, and then we realized we had to kind of modify that function for different categories, and so really just the overall, like, bug of figuring out how to incorporate SQL and Python together was kind of hard for us. Um, I don't know if you have a, another bug we encountered. I agree with that. I think that was our biggest challenge. Yeah. Gotcha. And then I guess on the flip side of things, what part of your project are you most proud of? I'm definitely proud of the animation. Um, right. <laughs> the one at the beginning especially. Yeah. Can we see it again? Oh, yeah. absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So if we go here, since we're logged in, it should bring us to the login page. Yep. 
That is so cool. Can you tell me how you did this? Yeah, yeah. so it's all in CSS. So essentially what you do is for each row here of the animation, it started at a particular X position, and then you're going to move it and translate the X position Oh, in. okay, gotcha. Um, the hardest part of that, though, was like making all the blocks line up perfectly. I spent what, I can like, imagine, yeah. That must be really difficult, that. yeah. Um, but it, it turned out really awesome in the end, so I'm really proud of it, yeah. Right. I mean, well, great job with the animation, great job with the website as a whole. Yeah. Uh, do you have any plans in terms of next steps or, you know, future release plans maybe for this website? I mean, because oh. obviously it's really useful, right, for people like us on campus. I mean, it would be awesome to sort of incorporate this into like the Yale database in general, like log in with your net ID and then maybe sort of bring it to the Yale community at large. We'll see how much of that actually happens. I don't know. Do you have any other ideas? That's kind of yeah. really cool. Right? Yeah, like, sort of like Yale Connect, but made from CS50. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, awesome. Well, thanks so much again for showing me this and great job again. Thank you, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And this is CS50.